I love all types of planning, but some of my favorite types of planning are ones where you can be super creative, and if you make a mistake, you just tap undo. My name is Mark and I go by Men Who Bullet and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite digital planning apps, Zinnia. I've talked about Zinnia before in past videos where we've done overviews and total just disclosure. I've also done work for them as well, which has been super cool because I've been like on the front lines of this app from pretty much the very beginning, checking out their new features before they ever come out and being able to provide feedback, which is pretty awesome. So today I wanna to talk to you about some of the newer features that have come out in Zinnia since my last video, which was like a really long time ago. The great thing about the app is it just keeps getting better and better and better. And I always talk about how amazing and just unbelievable it is, how much content there is on this app. The libraries are just filled with stickers and images and shapes and just any type of theme you could ever possibly think about. But one of my most favorite things recently is they've totally taken advantage of iOS and OS and they've made handoff a thing. So you can start something on your phone, you can pick up your tablet or you can go onto your Mac and all of them are gonna work together. I think moving the app onto the Mac has been one of my favorite things because now I've got a huge screen and I can do whatever I wanna do. Drawing's a little bit difficult, but I can do that on my iPad if I want. Speaking of the iPad, you can now do split screen. So you can technically have two different journals open. So if you really wanna multitask and make things happen and work in one without clicking in and out of other ones or having multiple devices, you can just take advantage of the split screen option on the iPads and have two of them next to each other, which is pretty incredible. One of the new features that they have is actually offline mode. So you can now download your journal onto your device and take it with you. So whether you're on an airplane or a really spotty Wi-Fi, or you don't have data on your iPad, but you need to be out and about, you can work in it, do whatever you have to do. And then when you're back, everything will sync up again, which is pretty incredible. A while ago, Zinnia made something called My Stuff, which is exactly as it sounds. It's a whole area where you can put whatever you want. You can draw, import, do whatever you want, and you can also group liked items and then save them to reuse them over and over again. Now, the problem with it is it was a little hard to find, especially if you had a lot of things in My Stuff. Now they allow you to add tags, and that's gonna work with your search and other pieces to organize them a little bit better and make it easier for you to reuse things whenever you want inside of your journals. Along with moving things to the Mac, which is my favorite feature that they've come out with recently, my second favorite, or like one and a half favorite, it's almost at number one, is a new feature they have where you can add calendar events inside of the app, which will also connect with your calendar as well. What I love about it so much is that it takes what we can't do inside of an analog journal, right? Taking notes, writing down events, and then having to then translate it digitally. You can just do it all in one spot. Yes, you're in a digital app or you're on an iPad when you're doing this or your phone or on your Mac, but now it's really cool because you just set it and you connect it and it just works. And I love that so much. It makes it so easy just to make all of your things work together. I don't know if I talked about this last time. I don't think that I did because it's been a while since I've done like a new feature update for Zinnia is that you can link things inside of the app now. So what's cool and one of the things that was missing and I provided a lot of feedback and some of the other testers did too is if we could have a way to create an index in our digital journal that would be amazing. And you can do that now. You can actually make anything that you want, whether it's text or a sticker or anything else, you can now link it. Whether you wanna link it to a page, whether you wanna link it to something else, you can go back and forth and it's so amazing. And honestly, like I said, it's like my second favorite feature, but especially if you're building out a multi-page notebook really inside of Zinnia, you need to be able to find things quickly. So linking between pages and notes, it's absolutely amazing. I haven't done a lot of drawing necessarily inside of Zinnia. I'm not like an artist inside of there, but one thing I do like to do is just write in a journal with my Apple Pencil on my iPad. It was a little sketchy before. It wasn't the most enjoyable experience in the past, but in recent iterations, they added smoothing. So now you can write and draw inside of there with some of that extra smoothing. It makes your handwriting look amazing. So here's an example. If I'm writing with no smoothing, as you can see, my handwriting does not look great. And you can up it little by little if you want to. I find that like right in the middle to like 60 to 70% is perfect for me because if you take it too far, it doesn't really connect, it really restricts it. But I love it because it makes my handwriting look good and honestly, I need that a lot of the times. And sometimes I don't wanna type everything. I like this nice, nice clean area where I just write with my pencil as I'm going, similar to what I would do inside of my notebook without having to worry about my handwriting looking extra sketchy. 
Speaking of writing inside of the notebook, they also added automatic line straightening. So if you're not super smooth with your Apple Pencil as you're writing or your stylus as you're writing inside of Zinnia, but you want to create those straight lines, now if you draw a somewhat straight line and hold it at the end, it'll snap into a straight line. You do have to watch out because if your line is super wavy, it will not automatically snap to a straight line. It's going to assume you're trying to make more of, of an open line like that. It doesn't want to be like, hey, you held it down for too long, and now your curvy line you were trying to make is going to be super straight. That would be frustrating. But for these really quick, small lines, it works out wonderfully. So whether you're drawing a square, whether you just want to create a divider for yourself while you're writing a note, it works perfectly all the time. When the app first got started, Zinnia just had kind of a normal landscape view for your different journals. You could choose if you wanted to be divided or not. And before you could choose the page styles, dot grid, grid, whatever you wanted to. But recently they've been releasing more sizes. So now you can use it for almost everything. And one of my new favorites is actually the narrow size that they have, because it reminds me a bit of a traveler size notebook. And what's cool is that inside of the templates, there's actually a whole section for them. So you don't have to worry about custom creating your own pages. But if you want to, you can save it, put it in my stuff and reuse it all that you want. I really am loving the new features in this app. In their most recent release, they also introduced a more enhanced search. Search is probably a top feature that I use inside of Zinnia because I like to find things quickly. Yes, I like to peruse every now and again through the collections, but like I said, there was so much content inside of here. Sometimes I'm like, I just need a checkbox and I don't know where to find it because they're all over the place. I could probably find it if I needed to, but it's easier just to tap search and look for it. Now, on top of finding the elements inside of the app, it'll also pull in other things like articles, new features, all types of new things. So really, whatever you're looking for, you can get it now in the search bar, which you couldn't get before. So these are just some of the new features that are available in Zinnia. And if you've never used the app before, give it a try. It is absolutely amazing. Of all the different ones I've tried, I have to say that this one has been my favorite. There are some features in other apps that aren't in here, but honestly, I don't miss them. You know, leaving a voice memo inside of my app or something like that, I'm not really doing things like that, but I like having these cool graphics to add, move them around, group them together, break things apart, use what I want. The customization is fantastic. I, one of my other favorite features, I have so many, is using something that's been pre-made and then ungrouping it, taking out what I don't need, putting in what I do, and then saving it again, and then using it. It really allows you to create custom journals in a digital space. And like I said, if you make a mistake, you just tap undo and you're good to go. I'll put all the links down in the descriptions for you below if you wanna check out more about Zinnia, whether you're downloading it for your iPhone, iPad, or your Mac now. That desktop version is amazing, I love it so much. Make sure you check it out and let me know down in the comment section below if you're using Zinnia as a digital planner, what do you think about it? And what are your favorite features? And if you're not using it, I'm curious to hear if it's something that you like. So make sure you check it out and let me know and follow up with me again. I always appreciate it. And I'll chat with you next time. See ya.